Well, welcome. In this video, we're going to be starting out chapter 3 by looking at our different graphs of parent functions. It's important to make sure that we know what these parent functions are. So it's really, really crucial that you get all this information into your notes, knowing what the equation for the parent function is, what the name of the parent function is, and what the shape of the graph of the parent function is. So that way, when we're referring to some of these equations, you know what the original, what the parent function looks like. So actually, let's take a second to talk about that. Well, what is a parent function? A parent function is the most basic of each type of function. It's the kind of it's the uh, function that all the other ones are based off of. For example, here we have uh, y equals or f of x equals x is our parent function for a linear equation or a linear function. So that means all straight lines are based on that one function. So we're going to look at a total of eight different parent functions here. Uh, so let's take a second now and I'm going to scroll so that way you can see the, some of these other functions. So let's take a second now to look at these four. So we already talked about the linear function. So now let's look at the quadratic function. A quadratic function is in the form f of x equals x squared. So that's a parabola that's in quadrants one and two is the parent function. And then we would have the next kind of parent function is our cubic function, f of x equals uh, x cubed. And that's in quadrants 1 and 3. It's a little zigzag line. If you notice y equals x or f of x equals x and f of x equals x cubed are both odd power functions are in quadrants 1 and 3. So that's an important thing to take note of. And then moving on here, we have our um, square root function. Our square root function is in the form f of x equals the square root of x. So these are our first four, first four parent functions. Let's take a look now at our other four. So here over on the far left we have a hyperbola or an inverse uh, variation function. That's something that we looked at in the previous chapter. That's in the form uh, y equals or f of x equals 1 divided by x. And moving on from that, we would have the inverse square function. That we also looked at back in the previous chapter, where we have y equals or f of x equals 1 divided by x squared. And then we have the absolute value function. We talked about that in advanced algebra, an absolute value function. Uh, it's an easy way to remember that one is absolute value, the emphasis on the v. The shape of the graph is a, the parent function over that is a shape of a v. And that's the absolute value of x. And then lastly, we have our exponential growth function is just y equals or f of x equals 2 to the x power. Now, something else to make note of here for these, for these functions is that the domain for all of these is going to be all real numbers with the exception of a couple of different parent functions. So all of these, if I just scroll up a little bit here, you can see that I could take uh, y equals x, I can put any number I want in there for x, I can square any number, I can cube any number, and then going down here, which you can't really see because the video might be covering it up, uh, but we have the absolute value of x, I could take the absolute value of any function, and I can also take 2 to any exponent. So all of those would be all real numbers for the domain. The only exception is when we're dealing with the square root function. There's only a certain type of numbers we can take the square root of, or the opposite of that is you can think of, well, what kind of numbers can't we take the square root of? So take a second to think about that. And hopefully you're thinking of negative numbers. You cannot take the square root of a negative number. So the domain for that would be all numbers greater than or equal to 0. Because we could take the square root of 0, it would just be 0. Now, what about um, dividing by x? Remember, you can't divide by um, 0. So for these two, those you can't divide by zero. So the, the range, I'm sorry, the domain would be all real numbers except that you can't have zero. So those are some, those are our, those are all of the parent functions. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to stop the video here. So in the next video you're going to see how we would use these parent functions to find the uh, vertex maybe for some of these types of equations or to find out what would be a good window to use when we go to graph these functions. So we're going to stop this video here with talking about the parent functions and now in the next video you're going to see how we would use these.